Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna talk a little bit about the Stony Titan, Cloth, and the other Titans that we're gonna see in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Overworld. Not only are we getting raid battles for terrestrialized Pokemon, but you're gonna be able to take on these massive bosses in various parts of the Paldea region. So let's discuss it. Now there are some interesting things at play with Titan Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. It remains to be seen if you can battle these Titans multiplayer, but given everything else in the overworld, in the open world of the Paldea region can be done through multiplayer, I would have to imagine that battling these Titans can also. It also appears that Titans is some sort of new phenomenon in the Paldea region. On Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's official website, after describing what Titan Pokemon are and talking about how this is where you're going to find the Herba Mystica, which are rare ingredients that restore health, that they say, quote, a number of these Titan Pokemon have already been cited in the region. This line leads me to believe that this is a relatively new phenomenon, and the fact that you and Arvin from the school are going to be going and taking on these titans means that you're really at the forefront of trying to deal with this problem and tackle some of the reasons behind these titan pokemon emerging. Cloth is one of the titan pokemon that we saw and it not only is a much larger version of this brand new crab pokemon but it appears that the titans have titles. So not only is it cloth and not only do you see the amount of health the pokemon has at the top of the screen but they also have a tagline. Cloth is the stony cliff Titan. Now this leads me to believe a couple things. First of all, that the Titans are not randomly generated. You're not going to find a variety of different Titans appear based on all of the different Pokemon in the Paldea region. So if you have a you have a cloth, it can be the Titan of this area or it's a different Pokemon. What this tells me is that these Pokemon are static. So the Stony Cliff area of the Paldea region has Cloth as its Titan. Different areas of the Paldean overworld are going to have specific titled Titan Pokemon that you have to take on to get the Herba Mystica from that area. So these are static encounters. Unlike the Terastalized raids, which if they're anything like the Sword and Shield Dynamax raids, are going to be switched up throughout time. So one raid den is not going to have one specific Dynamaxed Pokemon to fight. They're going to change and vary depending on when you're playing the game, how many people you're playing with, the level of the Pokemon, etc. These Titans are probably going to be static and they're probably going to have static health bars. One of the things that we've seen from some of the other features in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, namely gyms, is that it doesn't appear that there's going to be level scaling. There's going to be areas of the region that are easier for you to go through than others. There's going to be parts of the Paldea region that have lower level Pokemon and probably lower level Titans, and there's going to be areas in the Paldea region that have higher leveled wild Pokemon and Pokemon that are Titans that also have a higher level. So this is going to be something that you deal with throughout the adventure, and it's going to change as you continue to progress. So when you have a team of Pokemon in their 20s, you're probably going to have the option to take on some Titans that are lower leveled. The area that Cloth is in, when you look at the map of the Paldea region, does appear to be decently early on. It's one of the areas to the west of the major city in the center of the region. It's connected a little bit to the starting area. You can seemingly get there without having to progress too far into the game. So Cloth is probably one of the early Titans, probably one of the Titans that doesn't take as much to defeat probably one that you can easily take on with yourself without having to use multiplayer to beat it. But there's a lot of other interesting things about Titans that this could present us, and it could present some interesting challenges for the gameplay. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free, and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out my brand new Pokemon podcast, The Eon Ticket. The channel is linked on my channel page and in the description below. We do weekly live streams right here on the Linky channel recording every single podcast and then it goes up on the Eon Ticket YouTube channel the next day. So if you're not subscribed and you haven't checked out the first episode from last week, please be sure to do so because we're going to cover all of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news on that podcast every single week with some special guests. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Dynamax raids were pretty much the only thing 
to do in the wild areas. When they added the DLC, there were more story elements, things to find, legendary Pokemon to catch, but in the base game, doing Dynamax raids on your own with NPCs or with friends online was pretty much the name of the game. And this is how you caught Gigantamax Pokemon. This is also how you caught better Dynamax Pokemon. You could also find shiny Pokemon randomly in these raids and get a ton of items and experience for doing them. This was not only one of the only things to do in the wild area, but was also one of the only multiplayer features. There was the obvious in Pokemon games, online battling and trading, and then there was the Dynamax feature, the raid dens. Well, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, not only are there going to be Terrastal raid dens for you encounter and catch different terrastalized Pokemon, get certain Terra type Pokemon to use on your team, find more powerful Pokemon, but there's also going to be these Titans. And these Titans add a secondary raid element to the game and also add barriers to exploration. When I talk about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I praise its ability to allow and encourage exploration while also naturally keeping you out of certain areas until you're best equipped to handle them. And one of the ways they did this was through the mobs littered about the game. Not only were there the general mobs, the, the moblins and bokoblins and the skeletons that you had to fight around the world, but there were also larger boss enemies that could kill you in one foul swoop. Hopefully for Scarlet and Violet, the various titans littered about the Paldea region act as buffers and act as checks on your strength and your ability to continue exploring certain areas. There is also the factor with Arvin of exploring and finding treasure and loot and items from these and the Herba Mystica that these Pokemon seem to be guarding, but on top of that, hopefully it serves as another check on your progress in the game. Open world games are great, and having tons of wide open spaces, forests, caves, and mountain areas to explore, and rivers and oceans is wonderful in most video games. But there needs to be a sense of purpose to that exploration, whether it's in collecting items, beating bosses, or furthering the story. You don't just want to be running around aimlessly, something that I think Pokemon Sword and Shield struggled with to a great degree. The wild areas in Pokemon Sword and Shield, in the base game specifically, felt more like busy work, felt like something added on to the general routes connecting the cities. In a fully open world Pokemon game, the towns are going to feel naturally layered upon the open world, but you, so they're going to feel more natural, but you need to add things in the open world itself that makes the entire experience more cohesive. And adding another type of raid, which these seem to be in the Titans, is a major piece to this. And I think it's a part of Scarlet and Violet that is going to be very exciting. I would be interested to see if the Titans have special music, if it's a special battle theme for Titan Pokemon as a whole, or if the various types of Titans have their own themes. It feels like it's something that's being built off of the Pokemon bosses you had to fight in Legends Arceus. It feels like that similar vein of these guardians of different parts of the geographical world that you have to deal with. So I think Titans are a welcome raid addition to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, something that will hopefully be not only single player Player, but multiplayer and provide you with a lot of really good exploration purposes in the Paldea region. But what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of Titan Pokemon? Do you like that they seem to be specific to different areas and have titles and they're, they're made out to be their own thing? I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet and you'd like to get more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos in the future, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you never miss a future upload. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.